good morning students <clears throat> so today we'll start from open source philosophy and software license everything is not required <clears throat> i'll just uh, give you the important parts so mainly open source means uh, those softwares whose license do not impose much conditions means every software has a license and uh, those open source softwares they do not have much conditions and these soft softwares generally gives users to freedom means they can uh, if they want to distribute it they can distribute they can change the coding also they can um, uh, if they want to reuse again they can use so they are known as open source software but certain softwares like microsoft office or microsoft uh, those windows operating system they are actually not <coughs> free software you have to pay and you have to buy a license or you have to uh, buy the complete uh, software so those softwares you cannot uh, simply purchase and then uh, suppose you want to give it to your friend you cannot actually give it because uh, it's not uh, like ethical so if you connect to your internet and when you register it your computer will be uh, like uh, ethical for Microsoft <coughs> but uh, if you share the same CD or same operating system with your friend and when they will uh, install it and they when connect to internet then what will happen uh, Microsoft will see that they, they are two softwares with the same license so one of the license or one of the operating system will be uh, like blocked so <coughs> so if you do not connect to internet then it's okay but i don't think that now nowadays people use this computer uh, or any other uh, mobile phone without any internet so uh, those softwares you have to use pay and you have to use it so there are two terms that is free software and open source software so free software means the software is freely accessible and can be freely used changed improved copied and distributed by all who wish to do so if you get a software which is free so you can use it you can freely use it you can change it means you can change the codings and all if you are good in codings then you can change the coding of those uh, softwares you can improve it that is you can update it then you can copy it and also you can distribute it to people and no payments are needed to made for free software so those free softwares are totally free like uh, Avida antivirus is a free software <clears throat> uh, so you can write this definition of free software then open source software open source software on the other can be freely used but it does not have to be free of charges means you can use it freely but to if you want to use certain uh, part of the software you have to pay it. so totally it is not free but means a free portion is there but uh, a VIP portion or you can say an updated part where you have you can pay money if you have used true color app you can see in true color app it is free to use but if you want to see uh, who have uh, viewed your profile or who have viewed your uh, phone number then you have to pay a number uh, pay amount so that is uh, a open source software then uh, philosophy of open source so there are many definition you don't have to see all this definition you can see this uh, full from foss free and open source software you have to remi remember this part you can write this then there are certain okay so all these terms are not required but you can see this one freeware the term freeware is generally used for software which is available free of cost and which allows copying and further distribution so freeware what you can do you can get free of cost and you can also copy it or you can also distribute it among people people but you cannot modify it or uh, the source code is also not available of that freeware so this portion you can write as a definition of freeware then freeware should not be mistaken for open source for free software free software or open source softwares and freeware they are all different different freeware is distributed in binary form ready to run without any licensing you don't need any license number in some instance the right to use this software is limited to certain type of users means only particular or few people only can use those freeware for private and non-commercial purpose for example microsoft internet explorer so microsoft internet explorer only those people can use who has uh, installed microsoft uh, or windows software they can use it freely so this of this of uh, this part definitions are not required and shareware shareware is a software which is made available with right to re redistribute copies but it is stipulated that if one intend to use the software often after a certain period of time they have uh, then a license fee should be paid so if you are having a software you can use it uh, you like for three months six months or maybe one year but after one year you have to pay a money so those type of softwares are known as shareware <coughs> okay so gnu is a general public license uh, gpl this uh, you can write this full form gnu lgp this full form will be enough you don't have to see the definition part these definitions are also not required these are not important oh this one is ulta. 
<coughs> okay so i'll try to read this ulta um so let me see if i can read so, <coughs> Okay, so I have uh, reversed this one and see now one thing you have to see is first one uh, digital divide as you can see here uh, digital divide is an economic and social inequality with rega regard to access to uh, regard to access of or impact of information. You all know about <coughs> generation gap like your and parents you have a generation gap. So in the same way if there is a uh, digital gap also means you are the people who easily understand technology and also you can <coughs> use technologies but there are people who cannot uh, use technologies so between those people and you people there is a gap and that is known as a digital divide so you can uh, write this definition what is digital device device so digital device is an economic and social inequality with regard to access to or use or impact of information and techno technologies then uh, why two major reasons of digital divide so first is technological reach even after 71 years of freedom though it is now 76 years of freedom so even after 76 years of freedom there are many rural areas that have yet to witness the development especially technological development so there are some villages where you won't find much development regarding technology although reach of mobile have uh, easy it law easy it a lot after geo now you can see even in rural areas people are using uh, internet but still the connections are not that good means it is not that much fast you cannot say that are, they are having actually 4g speed they are using 2g speed or um, uh, means even less less than that so connection is uh, not proper so you can see due to this technological reach also there is a digital divide point number two is digital literacy digital literacy means even in the areas where technology is easily available or people who have access to internet and all they uh, they cannot take the benefit of this because they don't have much knowledge regarding uh, internet or they do not have much knowledge about mobile phones so these are the two reasons that uh, the digital divide is happening so you if questions come first uh, you can write the definition of digital divide and if uh, if very less mark is there you can just write the two reasons why digital divide is happening so this chapter is over in school also i have completed this chapter uh, question answers i will give uh, so what you do uh, you see this chapter and from the next class we will be discussing HTML again so if you have doubt you can ask me from the next class regarding HTML and CSS but for now your course is uh, over this chapter is over okay thank you